Al Valino, you're on the air. Hello. Yes, sir. How can we help you? Yes, I'm the interpreter. Avelino sitting with me for 14 months now. He's had a receding gum line. Avelino is a 47-year-old professional runner that's uh, 39 pounds, uh, 139 pounds, and uh, he used to be a vegan, and uh, he started eating meat, um, uh, uh, stopped eating meat in 1984, uh, started eating meat again in uh, uh, 2015, uh, trying because other vegans online were showing the same receding gum lines. Okay, very good. Uh, do you know if he ever had any asthma or skin problems like eczema, dermatitis, or psoriasis? En algún momento tenías asma o eczema o algo de la piel? No, uh, asma de, cuando en tiempo de, en tiempo de, de, de calor. En tiempo only, only, de calor, uh, en tiempo uh, de, de cole, sí me daba asma. Pero se me quitó con los... Yes, he used to get asthma when it was hot, because, yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, there's two things happening here. Uh, Char, this is a Char thing. What's happening here? And a vegan athlete with receding gums. He's got a, a gluten intolerance, and he's not absorbing any nutrients from the food or supplements. Okay, yes. Even if there are uh, nutrients in his food, which I don't believe there are, uh, particularly a vegan diet, because, remember, plants only need three nutrients. Um, even sedentary human beings need 90, including 60 minerals. When you get receding gums, what causes receding gums, Char? Is it lack of flossing? No, it's a lack of calcium and all the other 90 essential nutrients. Yeah, it, it, because um, receding gums is actually osteoporosis of the face. And so as the bone goes away, there's nothing for the gums to sit on, so they recede. The nice thing about this is it is possible to rebuild the bones in the skull and the face, and then the gums will come back up and the teeth will get tight again. We've seen that literally thousands of times over the years. And so... Uh, the first thing, uh, what would you do as a, as a dietary thing for this fellow, Char? Besides getting on a gluten-free diet, he needs a healthy uh, bone and joint pack and an extra glucose gel. Very good. Yep, I'd have him take one healthy bone and joint pack. As Char says, 139 pounds. He could take an extra bottle of the osteo, an extra bottle of glucose gel, so he can take two ounces of osteo a day, one at breakfast, one at dinner. The glucose gel, he needs 15 a day, five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner. That's going to support and promote maintenance and repair. Cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone, make sure it's bone itself, very important for receding gums, and um, periodontal disease, that kind of stuff. And then as an athlete, if he's a professional runner, what would you give him to replace the nutrients he's sweating out, Char? Um, I would give him the rebound, uh, of course. Oh, of course. And, of course, um, Gatorade has two nutrients. Powerade has six, and our rebound has 100. And so he needs to use the rebound to replace his sweat rather than just good water or Gatorade or um, Powerade. He needs the rebound. And as Char said, one healthy bone and joint pack, throw in an extra bottle of osteo so he can have two ounces a day, uh, throw in an extra bottle of glucogel so he can have 15. And uh, let's start there. But none of the bad stuff, no fried foods and processed meat.